everyone. I'm Mac, and I'm back. It has been a good week for me, and I hope all of you are doing great. I have many friends, and I'm going to visit some of them this week. I know where they live. Look, I have the addresses here. Do you know your address? Can you write it down? Good. That's what we're going to do later. Now let's take a look at what's in store for us today. Wow! I know you're going to enjoy learning English with me. Look at this. We are going to talk about where we live. Mr. Hans is going to teach us something new. We are going to meet my friend, the word machine. We are going to learn how to use words to help us know where a person, animal, or object is. Another great story and a wonderful song. Ah, look, our friends are here again. Hi, come on, introduce yourselves again. Hi, I'm Iswan. Hello, I'm Lily. Hello, I'm Nurul. Hi, I'm Justin. Hello, I'm Usha. Friends, do you know where you live? Do you know your address? I know my address. It's 14 Jalan Bunga, Taman Pertama. Izwan lives at 14 Jalan Bunga, Taman Pertama. Where do you live, Justin? I live at 37 Jalan Pinang, Subang Bestari. Where do you live, Lily? I live in Kampung Baru. Lily lives at number 72B, Jalan Raja Udang, Kampung Baru. Where do you live, Usha? I live at 132 Block E for my apartment. Friends, do you know where you live? Do you know your address? An address helps people know where your house is. Okay, I've keyed in all your addresses in my address file and I'm going to save them. There you are. Now that I know where you live, I can go and visit you. Well, friends, do you know your address? Ask your father or mother to write it down for you if you're not sure. It would be very useful when someone asks you where you live. Now, you can take down your friends' addresses and go and visit them too. Bye! So, this is a job for Spellman! Clock. Clock. Oh. Oh no. Three. Three. Hello, I'm Mr. Hens. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a fishing game. Let's get started. 
you will need a rod or a long stick, some paper clips, some thread, a pair of scissors, a marker pen, cellophane tape, a small magnet, and a manila card. First, take the rod or long stick and tie a piece of thread at one end like this. Next, we are going to stick the magnet to the other end of the thread. Use a small piece of cellophane tape and stick it like this. The rod is now ready. Now we are going to make the fish for you to catch. Use the marker pen and draw a fish on the piece of manila card like this. You may colour it later if you wish. Next, cut out the fish with a pair of scissors like this. Now, put a paper clip onto the mouth of the fish like this. You can even write points on the body of the fish like this. Now, your fishing game is ready. Have fun playing this game with your friends too. Bye. Hello again. Now we are going to learn about a word family. We are going to look at shapes. There are many shapes. Here are some of them. Square Rectangle Circle Triangle Well, now that you've learned some shapes, Let's look at some objects which have these shapes. Box Eraser Coin Sandwich Everyone, Today, we are going to look at words that can replace the names of people. We call them pronouns. He, she. We use he to replace the name of a boy or a man. Look at these sentences. Mr. Lim is writing. He is writing. Rahim is eating. He is eating. We use she to replace the name of a girl or a woman. Look 
at these sentences. The sila is reading. She is reading. Alice is singing. She is singing. Well, that's how we use the pronouns he and she to replace the names of people. Remember, use he for boys and men and she for girls and women. Two. 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 Well, it's story time, and I have another interesting story for you. I'm sure you're going to like it. It's called The Ugly Duckling. Just watch and listen. The Ugly Duckling Mother Duck was happy. Her babies were hatching. One by one, they cracked through their eggshells. But the biggest egg did not hatch. At last, it did. And out came the biggest, ugliest duckling anyone had ever seen. Mother Duck was surprised. But she loved the ugly duckling just the same. All the other ducks made fun of the ugly duckling. They laughed at him. They pecked at him. They pushed him around. He looks like a turkey, said one of them. Ah, go away, you little monster, said another. Even his own brothers and sisters were ashamed of him. You are so ugly, said one of his sisters. I wish the cat would eat you up, said one of his brothers. The ugly duckling felt very sad. Only Mother Duck would say nice things to him. Life became harder and harder for the ugly duckling. One day, he was so sad that he decided to run away. He climbed over the fence. He did not know where to go, so he just walked and walked. He met a group of beautiful parrots along the way. Squawk! They screamed and flew away when they saw him. Time passed and the leaves began to change from green to yellow. Even the grass turned brown. Still, he could not find anyone to be his friend. Soon, it became very cold. The poor ugly duckling finally found a small pond and decided to stay there. It was a long, cold winter and he was alone. One day, the ugly duckling felt warm sunshine on his body. He stretched his wings and flapped them a few times. Wow! He was surprised because he started flying. He looked down at the ground. It was so beautiful. He saw many colorful flowers. The grass too was green again. He saw a lake below him and he flew down towards it. He landed on it gracefully. Nearby, he saw three beautiful birds. They had long necks and were as white as snow. The ugly duckling thought that they would chase him away. But he was wrong. They swam towards him and invited him to swim with them. When he looked into the water, the ugly duckling was amazed because he looked just like them. Yes, the ugly duckling had become a beautiful swan. He was very happy. I'm not ugly anymore, he said. Now everyone wants to be my friend. Do you know 
What happens when we join words together? We will get new words. They're called compound words. Okay, stand by. The word mixture is here. Grand. Father. Grandfather. Grandfather. Jack. Forward. Blackboard. Blackboard. Time. Table. Timetable. Timetable. Bye!